It's fair to say that James Clark Maxwell's work of 1865 was so groundbreaking and written in a way which was quite impenetrable that it took a long time before the scientific community was able to both understand and to test the theories that Maxwell had put forward. In 1886, Heinrich Hertz actually did some laboratory experiments with a small kit that generated some electricity by putting a spark across two copper wires and by doing so was able to transfer a radio wave a small distance across his lab. This electromagnetic wave, as predicted by James Clark Maxwell's theories, did all the same things that you would expect a wave to do. He was able to reflect it. He was able to refract it through objects. He was able to do interference and he could see the peaks and troughs of the interference patterns that he generated with these new waves. As a result, Hertz was able to demonstrate that the electromagnetic wave theory was indeed correct. Hertz's name is still used today in the units of frequency. The units of per second are named after Heinrich Hertz. So this is a mock-up of the actual experiment that Heinrich Hertz conducted in 1886 to demonstrate that James Clark Maxwell's theory was correct. So the induction coil generates a voltage across these two points here in these copper wires. And when it generates a spark, there's a current through the copper wires that generates an electromagnetic wave. Now the actual experiment he would have done, the wires were maybe twice as long. But what he was able to do is to generate waves of about a meter long in wavelength in the laboratory and fire across different parts of the laboratory to test to see if it acted like a wave. And indeed, he discovered that the waves were polarized, that you could measure peaks and troughs, that you could interfere two different waves, that you could reflect them and that they obeyed Snell's law, that you could refract them and diffract them round edges. And it was this experiment that conclusively showed that James Clark Maxwell's theory of electromagnetic waves was correct.